Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. Again, thanks a lot for stopping by. Are you thinking on attending a meeting of Alcoholics Anonymous and you're not quite sure what to expect or people around you are telling you all these things about AA and you know, don't go and all that kind of stuff, but you're, you're having problems with your drinking and you want to go to a meeting, you want to experience it and see what it's like. Well, that's what this video is like. I'm going to talk to you generally what AA is and is not. Okay. And I'm going to share a little about my experience with that 12 step program. The first thing I want to talk about is three myths you hear about, Alcoholics Anonymous often, either on the internet or from friends and family. The first one is A is a cult. A is not a cult whatsoever. I've been going there off and on for many, many years and I've never felt it to be a cult. You can come and go as you please, all that kind of stuff. It's just take my word for it is not a cult. The second one is, is that it's a religious organization. Alcoholics Anonymous, as far as I can tell, it is not affiliated with any religion or religious organization whatsoever. It has a God component that is that they relate mostly to a higher power, and some people call that higher power God, and it has a spirituality component, but is non-religion. It is non-religious whatsoever. The third one that I want to talk about is that people will jam it down your throat. You know, you gotta listen to what they say or they, they, they give you their own opinions, their doctrines are very overpowering. They'll dominate you, you know, as you walk into the room as a newcomer or somebody new in the program. That's not true either. Most AAs, and I don't speak for all AAs, but I speak for what I've seen in the program. They're very respectful and they respect your boundaries. A lot of people, in the program of Alcoholics Anonymous are happy when they see a newcomer because, wow, another one has saved from the wrath of alcoholism. So we're respectful, we're usually joyful and very happy when we see somebody new come into the rooms of Alcoholics Anonymous. So no one is overpowering or no one's gonna jam anything down your throat. Just, just relax on that one. When you attend an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting, there's two types of meetings generally. There's an open speaker meeting in a closed discussion meeting. An open speaker meeting is when a member of the membership comes up and speaks about their experience, strength, and hope in recovery. Basically what they're gonna talk about is what they, life was like before they started drinking, what their drinking career was like, or with their life under the wrath of alcoholism, active alcoholism, and what their life is like now, working the steps of Alcoholics Anonymous, the traditions, reading the big book, that kind of thing, and they're struggling, their struggles with recovery, and what their life is like now, and the result of doing the steps and doing the traditions. That's basically what a speaker meeting is, and that meeting is open to the general public. Your mother, your kids, your grandma, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever it may be, can go to those meetings. And if you're curious what AA, what you think of AA, and you're kind of curious of going there, that kind of meeting might be great for you to attend. They're, they're non-contentious, you can come and go as you please, and no one will know the difference of it. You can just go there and get a feel what AA is really like. The second type of meeting there is, is called a closed discussion meeting. A closed discussion meeting is a meeting that talks more in depth about the steps. The steps in Alcoholics Anonymous are the program of recovery, like working on the inside job. And in a discussion group, those steps are read in long form. They might read step one in long form. You know, we admit we're powerless over alcohol and our lives have become man manageable. In the 12 and 12 literature book of Alcoholics Anonymous, those steps one to 12 are in long form. So they read that, and they talk about how their life or how their recovery relates to their step. Or they may talk about read the big book and do the same thing, the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous and how it relates to themselves in the recovery. But also in the closed discussion meetings, it's like the meat and potatoes of recovery. It's like where the good stuff is so you can really learn a lot about, uh, about the steps and about the traditions and how to live a sober life but you can talk about anything you want. Anything that relates to your alcoholism is pretty well anything you can talk about, really. 
So you can dump it there if you're struggling or something's good going on or something's bothering you. You can just lay it out on the table and share it with like-minded people. But in those meetings, in those closed discussion meetings, you need a simple desire to do something about your drinking. The general public are not allowed in those meetings. And the reason is because the stuff that we share sometimes can be intimate, can be very, you know, fearful for people to, to talk. It's supposed to be a safe place for people to share what is going on in their life and when you know in their struggles of recovery so people want it to be a, a more autonomous and more anonymity in those meetings the speaker meetings are for the general public the closed discussions are basically working on the steps and the traditions in people's recovery like i said it's the meat and potatoes of the recovery program a little more heavier a little more intense but a lot of learning there a lot of strength can come out of there a lot of knowledge and a lot of support Alcoholics Anonymous meetings in general start the same. There's, they really start the same uh, all around the world. There's the steps, they read a, a synopsis of the steps, the traditions, how it works. They read the preamble at the start of the meeting. So there's, there's the meetings themselves start off the same. The only thing is, is there's two types of meetings. There's a speaker meeting and there's a discussion meetings. You walk into the rooms of Alcoholics Anonymous, the chairs are usually around in circles, maybe a table is in the middle or off to the side, you, you sit around it, or they're in rows, but basically they're the same. Somebody's at the door when you start, when you walk in, and they're walking you into the meeting. Alcoholics Anonymous has done a lot for me in my recovery. It's a great support network. It's helped me throughout my life when it comes to my ups and downs in my recovery. It's, it's a great place to go to have like-minded people on their journey of recovery. It's an incredible program. It's made me who I am today and it's great. So if you have any, any uh, hesitation to go to an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting, just go sit there and relax, have a coffee. There might be some donuts or sandwiches there. Sit down. Somebody will come over to you, maybe talk to you, maybe introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Terry G. Nice to see you. Or, you know, somebody besides you. People are very out, out front and they're very warm, but no one will expect anything from you. A few suggestions I would do if I was you in, in early recovery. What I did is I went up to people and I asked them for help. I got a few phone numbers. I started calling people in Alcoholics Anonymous in early recovery, I was in really bad shape and I needed a lot of help. So I asked people to help me and there'll be a lot of people there who'll be willing to hear you out, maybe go for coffee with you, maybe even drive you to meetings, whatever it may be. Today, I still use Alcoholics Anonymous as a great support network. Most of my friends are in the program. It's given me a great life. But the thing I could strongly suggest to anybody who's going for the first time Keep an open mind and just go and just relax and let things be. The journey of a thousand steps starts with the first one. We need to get off our butt, go to those meetings and start meeting people who can identify with our struggles, the way we think, things that are happening in our lives. And in those meetings, you will find a lot of support and being sober, it was probably the greatest thing that ever happened in my life. And it all started, it was going to an open speaker meeting. I went to an open speaker meeting just to see what it was like. And then I sort of started my journey of recovery. I went to closed discussion meetings. I've stayed so, managed to stay sober for a number of years and that's all it takes. So if you're afraid, that's normal. If you're hesitant, that's normal. Just look up in your local directory where a meeting is, show up. No one will expect anything from you and the miracles will start happening immediately. immediately. You'll start feeling better. You'll start feeling belong like you belong. That's how I felt. I felt like I belonged and your life will start changing. Just go to those meetings. They're terrific. Keep an open mind and hey, your life will change. Guarantee it. Just, just give it a shot. Just give it a shot. Okay. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you like the video, 
leave a comment below. If you don't like the video, leave a comment below. But can you all do me one favor? Can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Stay sober, stay safe, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for passing by. Bye for now.